Um, hello guys, the hacker 13 here, and in this video tutorial, I just want to show you how you can get the final 3.0 firmware for iPod Touch first and second gen, and the iPhone first and second gen. Um, as you can see on my iPod Touch, second generation, I already have 3.0 software update because I have like the search, and I also have the voice memos. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to get it. There's no current jailbreak for it yet, but once it comes out, I will make a video on how to do it. Um, so what you need is iTunes 8.2. It's right here. So just go to the link right here. Um, it should, it's in the description. You can just copy and paste it, or you can just directly click the link. So open up your internet browser. Go to the link. And as you can see, download iTunes 8.2 now. Click download. Now once you have finished downloading it, um, so I have four links in the description. Um, it's all the 3.0 software, so depending on if you have an iPod Touch 1G, or an iPod Touch 2G, or an iPhone 1G, or iPhone 2G, all those links for the 3.0 will be in the, um, over to, right over there. Um, this link right here is the 3.0 for the iPod Touch second generation, so you'll need to download the certain link for whatever device you have. So go to the link for um, your device, so whatever iPod Touch or iPhone you have. And see, this is iPod Touch 2G 3.0, so if you have an iPhone, you don't want to be using this. So just download it and save it to your desktop. So now, as you can see, you should have a new firmware file for iTunes. So now open up iTunes 8.2. Okay, and so once it's opened, here is the next step. So you need to have a Apple USB cable and your device. And so here's basically how to do it. So first you want to fully shut off your device. So you can do this by holding down the power button, slide the power off. So let's wait till the power is off. Okay, there we go. Now, take the USB plug. And now this is kind of hard, because I only have one hand here. So, hold on. So what you want to do... Okay, there we go. Um, hold on a sec. I messed it up that time. So I'll just turn it off once again. Okay, so what you're going to do, I'm just going to explain it to you, then I'm going to do it. You want to plug in the USB cable to your iPod Touch or iPhone, and right when you plug it in, hold down the Home and Power button. So, um, let's see if I can. Okay, so, uh, so basically you're putting it into DFU mode. So hold the Home and the Power button while it's plugged in for 10 seconds. Then you want to let go of the Power button and leave the Home button down. So, Okay, now I can show you. Um, so you plug it in, hold down the power and the home button, and then so you hold down the power and the home button right when you plug it in, and then for 10 seconds, 
then you let go of the power button, but leave the home button down until it is recognized on your computer. So it says the iPod is in recovery mode. This means you did it right. So select OK. And then what you want to do is you want to hold down the shift button. So you want to hold down the shift button and then click restore. And then a window should pop up. And you should get it from your desktop, the firmware you downloaded, the 3.0 firmware. Select it. And then select open. Now it'll say extracting software. And if everything goes well on your iPod Touch or iPhone, um, it should restore with the 3.0 firmware. So if you have any problems, please send me a message. Thanks for watching.